Chapter 881, Green Dragon Battles Armor Roar As the dragon roar resounded, bright and resplendent green light suddenly exploded from Lin Dong's body. This only lasted for an instant, before rapidly withdrawing at the speed of lightning. In the end, it adhered to the surface of his body, green light circulating within it. Chi. Wide green dragon wings shot open on Lin Dong's back, like the sharp edges of a blade. Although the dragon wings were now smaller than they were previously, they were obviously more refined. Along the edges of the dragon wings were extremely sharp, and sawtooth shaped, like the teeth of giant dragons. The dragon scale armor on Lin Dong's body was not as thick as before. Thin scale armor covered the entirety of his body. As it extended, it gave off a feeling of abundant power. This feeling made him feel as if every action he made possessed the strength of a giant dragon. As the dragon scales condensed on Lin Dong's arms and legs, some of them transformed into extremely sharp spikes, which were covered with serrated teeth. An aura that reeked of blood was faintly discernible, as it radiated out. With a glance, one could tell that it possessed extremely astonishing killing power. The current form of Lin Dong's green heaven materialized dragon skill was even more agile and nimble when compared to before. At the same time, its ferocity and attacking power had also increased. Obviously, as he grew stronger, the might of the green heaven materialized dragon skill was gradually revealing itself bit by bit. Creak. Lin Dong's scale covered hand slowly clenched, as the air within was squeezed till it exploded. The originally pitch black eyes were now brimming with green glint, as a dragon occupied the depths of his pupils. Your body enhancing martial art isn't bad. Shen Tiju's gaze revealed a strange light, as he observed Lin Dong's transformation. He was able to feel that the ferocity of Lin Dong's aura had instantly multiplied. Bang! Green light surged within Lin Dong's eyes as he watched Shen Tiju. In the next instant, he suddenly stepped forward. One could only hear the sound of air exploding, as a figure appeared in front of Shen Tiju in the blink of an eye. Subsequently, a simple yet violent fist rumbled out. Boom! The air in front was compressed to the point of exploding. Everyone could see faint distortions in the space where the fist had passed through. Clank! However, Shen Tiju merely grinned in the face of such violent fist whines, and showed no indications of retreating. A fist suffused with jet black light similarly rumbled out ferociously, smashing head on against Lin Dong's fist. At the instant of collision, a piercing metallic sound immediately rang out. A circular wind ripple swept out, causing the air in a hundred feet radius to instantaneously explode. After clashing directly against Lin Dong's fist, a battle maniac smile appeared at the corners of Shen Tiju's mouth. With a hearty chuckle, two of his fingers curled transforming into two jet black rays. The rays tore through the air, lightning fast as they stabbed towards Lin Dong's eyes at an extremely crafty turning arc. Clink! Lin Dong arm jerked. Sharp scale blades sparkled with green light as they raised up, blocking those two swift and fierce grey lights. Quickly after, his body leaned forward, as a flurry of fists were thrown. His assault poured out in torrents like a storm enveloping Shen Tiju. Ha ha, delightful. In response to Lin Dong's ferocious onslaught, the fire in Shen Tiju's eyes burned with a greater fury, as he clenched his hands tightly into fists. Jet black light gushed out from all over his body, as he relied on his powerful physical body, and met Lin Dong head on. Clang clang clang. Metallic sounds frantically erupted in the limestone square. Accompanying the sounds were waves of terrifying energy ripples. The violent power contained within these ripples caused several people's scalps to turn numb. They were truly somewhat unable to imagine, that with just the power of their bodies, the two men in the square were able to reach such astonishing levels. He's actually able to contend with Shen Tiju to such a degree with just his physical body. At the Shen Tiju seats, as the Shenta clan members watched the two men duking it out in close physical combat, their gazes gradually turned grave. They were exceedingly clear about how tyrannical Shenta Ju's physical body was. However, 
Lin Dong was unexpectedly not inferior at all in this aspect. As the black-clothed Shen Rong watched the two figures, who were locked in a violent exchange like to two ferocious lions, her expression started to change. Even she felt her heart thud in alarm at the low and deep sounds that rang out when a punch landed on a body. At the Gu clan area, Gu Xiao, Gu Menki and the rest all had anxious faces, as they watched the two figures which were locked in combat. All of their eyes contained unconcealable graveness. The fight before them was really too ferocious. Compared to this, the fights yesterday seemed somewhat mundane. Elder Gu Xiao, who has a higher chance of winning? Gu Yan could not help but ask. Gu Xiao stared at the square, and hesitated for a while, before shaking his head as he replied, Lin Dong's physical body is more tyrannical than I had thought. In this aspect, he's not inferior to Shen Tiju. However, the latter has yet to use his advantage. Gu Menki bit her red lips. Shen Tiju was a true blue advance profound life stage expert, and his Yuan power was definitely much more abundant than Lin Dong's. Currently, they were battling with just their physical bodies, and although Lin Dong was not losing out, once Shen Tiju regained his clarity from this battle rush, he would definitely choose to use his advantage. To use his vigorous Yuan power to suppress Lin Dong. This was not a favorable battle. Bang! A fist brimming with jet black light violently slammed against Lin Dong's elbow. Upon landing, green light sparkled maniacally, continuously defending against the frightening force that was invaded. Crack! Minute cracking noises rang out from Lin Dong's shoulder. Obviously, under Shen Tiju's ferocious force, the bones in his shoulder had been injured. At the same time, this force also sent Lin Dong flying backwards. Swish! However, just as Lin Dong's body flew backwards, his leg suddenly split apart the air. A sharp scale blade carried swift and fierce green light, and slashed past Chen Tiju's chest at an astonishing speed. As the green light swept past, the clothes on Chen Tiju's chest was slashed apart. A glaring wound appeared on the chest that was radiating with jet black light. Bang! Lin Dong's feet pushed off on empty air, as his body hovered in the air. At this time, many of the green dragon scales that covered his entire body were already broken, and there were even faint traces of blood. Naturally, there were also quite a few wounds on the Shen Tiju's body, which was suffused with jet black light. It was evident that the two had been truly engaged in an extremely vicious and cruel bare-bodied battle. Due to this bare-bodied battle, several wounds had appeared on both of their bodies. Around the square, Everyone was inwardly speechless when they saw the two's appearances. They were very clear that if a normal peak initial profound life stage expert were to substitute for either of the two, that unlucky fellow would have already been directly beaten into meat paste. Being able to withstand such terrifying force and not be killed, perhaps only the two monsters in the square could do such a thing. Shen Tiju used his hand to feel the wound on his chest, before smearing the fresh blood on his lips. The dark red color made him seem even more fiendish. His chest gently raised and fell. From the looks of it, the slightly crazed combat session earlier had also consumed quite a bit of his strength. Being able to force me to this state with just your physical body, even those two fellows are unable to do so. Shen Tiju raised his head and stared at Lin Dong with eyes brimming with jet black light. Soon after, he grinned, revealing his sinisterly white teeth which were smudged with blood, making him look exceedingly terrifying. Lin Dong took a deep breath. Green light frantically rushed about his body, continuously repairing the internal wounds caused by the force of Shen Tiju's blows. His gaze was exceeding grave. Shen Tiju's physical body was the strongest he had seen within the younger generation. This was also the first time he had encountered someone that could compete with him who had trained in the Green Heaven materialized dragon skill, in terms of physical prowess. No wonder why you could defeat the Wei Zhen Trio. Compared to you, they're indeed wastrels. A smile was still present on Chen Tiju's face. However, the bloodthirsty glint in his eyes had slowly disappeared. Following its disappearance, Lin Dong's eyes faintly narrowed. 
he could feel exceedingly dangerous fluctuations radiating from within Chen Tuju's body. A man who only knew how to rely on brute force was not frightening. What was truly frightening, was a man who was able to perfectly display such power. The current Chen Tuju had clearly started to recover from his previously barbaric state. This warm-up should be enough. I've heard that you used a single move to defeat the Wei Zhen Trio yesterday, now, I'll do the same. Shen Tuju chuckled. Next, monstrous jet black light maniacally swept out from his body like a storm. Instantly, this stretch of world turned dark and gloomy, as a baleful aura quietly spread. Jet black light filled the area, as Shen Tuju slowly extended his hand. Pointing it towards Lin Dong, he suddenly clenched his fist and swung it downwards. At the same time, a low hoarse voice, carrying with it a baleful aura that blotted the sky, swept out from his mouth. Azura Earthly Demonic Prison Chapter 882, Azura Earthly Demonic Prison Hum hum! Monstrous jet black light crazily swept out. In the blink of an eye, even the sky had turned dark. Jet black light was like a dome that enveloped the sky above the square, while an indescribably baleful aura started to hover and gather in the sky. At this very instant, even the Yuan power in the area seemed to have become exceedingly dense and heavy, making it hard for people to absorb it. This area seemed to have been saturated by a baleful aura. Jet black light erupted from Shen Tuju's eyes. At this moment, under the jet black light that covered the sky, he was like an azura that had crawled out from hell. His presence was an extremely terrifying. Lin Dong, this is my final trump card. If you can break out of this prison, I'll admit defeat. Shen Tuju's eyes flickered with jet black light as he stared at Lin Dong and grinned. His grin was suffused with baleful aura. Lin Dong's gaze was grave as he observed the change in Shen Tuju. He seemed to be unable to absorb the surrounding Yuan power due to the domain of jet black light. As for Shen Tuju, he was able to endlessly absorb this baleful aura. Such a formidable technique. In the face of such a situation, even Lin Dong could not help but secretly give praise to Shen Tuju. It was no wonder that the latter was feared to such an extent by the geniuses from the other four great clans. Even Lin Dong felt that this move of his was considerably problematic. Within this demonic earth prison, I'm afraid that you are destined to lose. Shen Tuju clenched his fists, as jet black light extended from his hands, transforming into two long jet black sabers. Jet black light flickered on the blades, while extremely cold and sinister fluctuations radiated from them. Gripping the two sabers, Shen Tuju's gaze abruptly turned ice cold. As his gaze turned ice cold, the monstrous baleful chi within the demonic earth prison instantly erupted. Russell. Shen Tuju's arms moved, and the two sabers had already chopped down furiously. Piercing howls immediately rang out, as two gigantic jet black blade glints, at least a thousand feet long instantly formed. With extremely astonishing speed, they viciously slashed at Lin Dong. As Lin Dong looked at the blade glints that were rapidly growing in his eyes, his expression turned somewhat grim. He was able to clearly sense that the power of Shen Tuju's attack was amplified in this demonic earth prison. If one were to be hit by the incoming blade glints, even those of Wei Zhen and Chen Luo's caliber would likely instantly suffer serious injuries. With a thought, the blade-like green dragon wings behind Lin Dong's back furiously rotated to their sides, forming two sharp full moons. Green light erupted explosively, and a green dragon phantasm was faintly discernible, before transforming into a protective screen in front of him. Bang! Brimming with astonishing force, the blade glints violent slashed down on the green dragon phantasm. Instantly, a loud noise rang out, as gales swept out, while Lin Dong's body was smashed a dozen steps backwards. As he shot a glance at his wings, he saw that some of the dragon scales were already shattered. Shen Tuju's attacks were clearly growing more and more ferocious. He <laughs> he. My attacks have only just started. I wonder how many rounds your green dragon battle armor can last. Shen Tuju rested his sabers on his shoulders. He grinned as he gazed at the miserable looking Lin Dong, before opening his mouth. 
In the next instant, an extremely boundless jet black light howled out from within. Hum. As the jet black light swept out, the baleful chi that within the demonic earth prison rapidly gathered. After a series of hums, it finally transformed into jet black blade glints. These numerous blade glints were densely packed in the air. Jet black light gathered on the surface of the blades, seemingly forming ghostly faces, while a frighteningly baleful and deadly aura spread out in the sky. This scene caused even the experts, who had the qualifications to break through to the advanced profound life stage, to be struck with terror. Every single blade glint was stronger than the two that Chentaju had sent out previously. In addition, the large numbers, made everyone feel their scalps turn numb. Azura Blade Prison With a wave of his sleeve, the hundreds of jet black blade glints instantly tore through space, covering the entire sky, as they explosively shot towards Lin Dong. Swish! Lin Dong's expression was grim as he gazed at the astonishing blade glints that were shooting towards him. Opening his mouth, a scarlet red ray of light whizzed out. Facing the wind, it rapidly expanded, transforming into a scarlet red cauldron. Clang clang clang! The blade glints violently hacked at the scarlet red cauldron, causing sparks to shoot out explosively. Under such a berserk attack, the glow on the surface on the burning sky cauldron turned somewhat dim, however, it still managed to receive all the attacks from the blade glints. However, although he had successfully defended against this attack, Lin Dong's expression did not relax at all. At this very moment, there were still innumerable jet black blade glints that floated in the sky. If he was hit by all of them, even if his physical body was stronger than it was now, he would still be riddled with a thousand bloody holes. You managed to block it, hey? Shen Tiju looked in amusement at the spectacle before him, and smiled. Forming a seal with his hands, he said in a soft voice, Congeal. Hum hum. As he said that word, the innumerable blades that blotted the sky suddenly started humming again, before abruptly sweeping forward. However, instead of launching attacks, they started to condense together. Finally, under Shentaju's smiling gaze, they transformed into a jet black blade chi a dozen feet long. This jet black blade chi was rather small. However, even Lin Dong was able to feel an extremely dangerous aura radiating from its surface. Shentaju had actually completely compressed that numerous berserk blade glints into this blade chi. The killing power it possessed would undoubtedly be extremely devastating. Go. Looking at the grim faced Lin Dong, Shen Tiju faintly smiled, before extending his finger. Roar. Following his action, an astonishing azure roar suddenly erupted from within the jet black blade chi, as a baleful aura spread out in a ferocious manner. With a swish, the jet black blade chi explosively shot forward. Creak creak. The speed of the jet black blade chi was indescribably fast, and it seemed to have pierced through the obstruction of space. As the sound rang out, Lin Dong pupils contracted, and he could already feel a piercing pain from his forehead. Quickly after, bright green light swept out from his body like a tidal wave. The green heaven materialized dragon skill had been pushed to its limits. He knew that he was simply unable to evade this strike from Shen Tiju. It's the end, looking indifferently at this scene, a murmur emerged from Shen Tiju's mouth. Bang! An earth-shattering explosion noise abruptly rang out from the green light, as frighteningly swift and fierce blade chi poured out in torrents, causing the ground to instantly split and shatter. It is over. A relaxed voice emerged from Shen Tiju's mouth at this instant, as his bright eyes looked at the square. In that instance, he could clearly feel that that Shen Tiju's attack had landed on Lin Dong's body. No matter how powerful Lin Dong's physical body was, an attack of that degree would definitely seriously injure or even kill him. This fight had already ended. Upon hearing this, Shen Rong heavily breathed a sigh of relief. However, this time round, she did not display any contempt. Within their generation, there were less than five people who had the qualifications to force Shen Tiju to use the Azura Earthly Demonic Prison in the Heaven Wind Sea region. Has he lost, as Shen Tiju said those words, on the Gu clan side, 
the expression of Gu Xiao had also turned dim. Gu Menki clenched her jade-like hands tightly, as her beautiful eyes locked onto the jet black light. Has it truly ended? Indeed, it is still impossible, Gu Yan said with a bitter smile. Shen Tiju's strength had already reached such a level. It was difficult even for Lin Dong to defeat him. Ha ha! Within the jet black light, Shen Tiju wore a smile on his face, as he stared at the place that had been devastated by the powerful blade Qi. After a moment, he shook his head, and turned around to leave. He had absolute confidence in this attack of his. Thud! However, the instant he turned around, the low sound of a footstep suddenly faintly rang out from the place that the blade Qi had devastated. This footstep immediately made Shen Tiju's body freeze. Subsequently, he slowly turned around with an expressionless face. His pupils slightly contracted, as he stared at the thin figure that was slowly walking out from within the blade Qi that blotted the skies. That thin figure was totally covered in blood, as he slowly walked out of the area where the blade Qi had wreaked havoc. As he raised his head, a brilliant smile appeared on his face. Above his smile, a spirit brand flickered as it appeared on his forehead. As the spirit brand appeared, the baleful chi within the demonic earth prison was instantly pushed away and scattered. I'm afraid that it's not over yet. Chapter 883, All Out Boom! A majestic aura abruptly swept out from the demonic earth prison like a ray of light that pierced through the heavens and the earth. Under the such a tyrannical aura, the baleful chi that had pervaded the air seemed to weaken. Around the square, shock and astonishment surfaced on everyone's gazes as they looked towards the youthful figure that had walked out from the swift and fierce blade chi that blotted the sky. The sudden explosion of his aura caused them to be rather shocked. No one had imagined that Lin Dong was still able to counter-attack under such a perilous situation. In addition, they were also able to sense that Lin Dong's aura had clearly greatly strengthened. Although it had not reached the advanced profound life stage, it was not far from that level. With this, Shen Tiju's advantage was rapidly equalized. With the loss of such an advantage, the situation had started to become complicated and confusing. Is that, a spirit emblem? Amazement appeared on Shen Tiju's old face, as he looked towards Lin Dong's forehead. Soon after, his expression turned exceedingly grave as he said, where exactly does Lin Dong come from? Not only does he possess various powerful martial arts, he even has a miraculous treasure like the spirit emblem. A spirit emblem was also rather valuable in the chaotic demon sea. Within them were an ancient expert's entire lifetime worth of cultivation. If the owner had good compatibility with it, it would become an outstanding training aid. Although spirit emblems would occasionally appear in those large-scale auctions in the chaotic demon sea, they were exceedingly valuable items. With the help of that spirit emblem, Lin Dong's aura has already become indefinitely close to the advanced profound life stage. Shen Tiju's advantage, has started to disappear, the other elder, Shen Tu Mo, slowly nodded his head while speaking. Being close doesn't mean that he has reached it, even if Lin Dong has such a trump card, Defeating Big Brother Shen Tiju will not be easy. Shen Tu Rong said while clenching her jade-like hands. Although her words were still as unyielding as before, there was clearly some graveness and worry within her eyes. Spirit Emblem, he truly has quite a few trump cards. As Gu Xiao continued to stare at the square, while a pleasantly surprised expression bubbled forth on his old face, which originally wore an ugly expression. An extraordinary splendor sparkled in Gu Menki's eyes, while her gaze was locked tightly onto Lin Dong within the square. The latter was akin to a bottomless pit that no one could see through. Every time people assumed that he had exhausted all of his abilities, he would always pull out a hidden card that would shock everyone, and reverse the situation. Next up, I hope that he can turn this unfavorable situation around. Spirit Emblem, Hey. Shen Tiju's face was emotionless as he looked at Lin Dong, who was slowly walking forward, before resting his gaze on the flickering spirit emblem on the latter's forehead. Immediately, his pupils faintly contracted, as he spoke out softly. I never imagined that you would actually have such a trump card. 
Lin Dong's hands slowly clenched into fists. The boundless and strong power within his body felt like a volcano that was on the verge of erupting. The power of this spirit emblem was indeed tyrannical. I also need a quota for the chaotic tower. Therefore, before achieving my goal, I don't intend to lose that easily. Raising his head, Lin Dong sent a smile towards Shantiju while replying. Understandable. Shantiju's face was emotionless as he nodded his head. In the next instant, his gaze appeared to turn sinister and gloomy, as his hands slowly clenched, however, it's still those same words. This path is impassable. Lin Dong faintly smiled. With a clench of his fist, a metallic tree trunk appeared within his hands. Hoisting it up, he pointed it towards Shantiju in the distance and replied, Then, let's continue fighting. Is that so? A cold glint flashed within Shantiju's eyes. In the next instant, he suddenly raised his palm, as his five fingers formed a strange seal. Following the formation of the seal, everyone could feel an extremely boundless Yuan power mix with boiling baleful chi frantically unfurl from his body. Rumble. The Yuan power mixed with baleful chi were akin to layers upon layers of black clouds, as they rapidly gathered above Shantiju's head. Astonishing fluctuations were faintly discernible as they started to radiate out. If you assume that you are able to rely on a spirit emblem to make me, Shantiju, scared, I'm afraid that you are still somewhat naive. Shantiju stared chillingly at Lin Dong. In the next instant, he suddenly bit his tongue, causing a streak of blood to shoot out, which rushed towards the surging clouds in the sky. As the blood shot into the boundless cloud layers, they instantly started to churn berserkly. Faintly, there seemed to be something astonishing that was being born within the clouds. I truly have to do my utmost, hey, Lin Dong gazed at the churning clouds. From them, he could feel a considerably tyrannical pressure. From the looks of it, Shantiju was also about to use his vicious moves. Hum hum. Resplendent green light slowly radiated from within Lin Dong's body, while the spirit emblem on his forehead became increasingly dazzling. At the same time, waves of powerful fluctuations started to ripple outwards. Boom! Rumble! The churning of the black clouds carried on at a great speed. In the next instant, peals of thunder rang out, and the clouds squirmed at an insane speed. Faintly, they seemed to transform into giant object. Ghost Emperor's Soul Suppressing Tower with an awe-inspiring air, a low and deep voice suddenly rang out from Shantiju's mouth. Subsequently, jet black light shot outwards explosively, as the giant object became increasingly clear. Finally, under everyone's fixated glares, it transformed into a giant, jet black tower approximately a thousand feet tall. Jet black light swirled around the top of the giant tower, as chains started to extend from it. Ghost face patterns covered its entire surface, as a strange and sinister aura emerged. Lin Dong Among our generation, only two people have experienced this move of mine. Now, you'll be the third. Jet black light erupted from Shantiju's eyes as he stared at Lin Dong in the distance. Soon after, he grinned, revealing his sinisterly white teeth. At this moment, his face appeared rather ghastly making him look extremely terrifying. Therefore, there's no need to feel disgraced if you lose today. As the last word left his lips, Shantiju's eyes instantly turned cold and stern. With a low roar, his hand swatted out in a flash. Subsequently, the giant jet black tower howled forward. With an imposing aura, it pressed straight down on Lin Dong. Bang bang bang! As the giant tower descended, distortions start to appear in the space around it, while the earth frantically crumbled, and gigantic cracks rapidly spread across the square. Everyone could see that Shantiju had already displayed his abilities to his limits at this moment, and he planned to use this move to finish off Lin Dong. Lin Dong raised his head, and gazed at the black tower, which cast a gigantic shadow. He could sense extremely dangerous fluctuations originating from the tower. Who? A clump of white air was exhaled from Lin Dong's mouth. Soon after, 
his expression instantly became exceptionally solemn, as resplendent green light erupted from his body like a pillar of light. Roar! A deep dragon roar rang out at this instant, as green light surged on Lin Dong's four limbs. Four green dragon light tattoos simultaneously flew out from his body. Lin Dong's right hand stretched out in a flash, and grabbed the four green dragon light tattoos. At that instant, his right hand expanded at a terrifying speed, as layers of dragon scales started to surface. In the blink of an eye, it transformed into a green dragon claw that was a thousand feet wide, as extremely mysterious runes appeared under the dragon claw. Green Dragon Heavenly Seat Seal A low and deep voice accompanied the dragon roar as it rang out from Lin Dong's mouth. At this instant, a dazzling brilliance suddenly erupted from the spirit emblem on his forehead, as the green dragon claw expanded once again. The green dragon claw created by Lin Dong's four green dragon light tattoos as well as the power of the spirit emblem, floated in the air, it was as if an ancient giant dragon that had ripped space apart, and descended into this world. Bang! Lin Dong stared at the giant black tower descending towards him with eyes infused with green light, before thrusting his palm forward. Immediately, the heavens and earth shook, as the green dragon claw which contained all of Lin Dong's power smashed through space. Under countless shocked gazes, it viciously slammed against the giant black tower. Clang! The instant the two forces collided, a sound that could shock and awe the universe rang out. Chapter 884, Victory Bang! A resplendent and berserk circle of light rose up from within the demonic earth prison like a scorching sun. Under its intense radiance, everyone could sense a devastatingly destructive ripple. Bang bang! The expansive limestone square appeared to be twisted and warped by a tremendous force, as waves of earth rippled out one after the other on the surface of the ground. Practically the entire square had been shattered. Solemn gazes witnessed the frightening shock waves spread outwards from the demonic earth prison. A few cautious people had already hurriedly retreated, afraid that they would be affected by these shock waves. Such an astonishing exchange. Some elders of the Shentu and Gu clans stood up at this moment. Their eyes were tightly locked onto the epicenter of that dazzling brilliance. Even they could not help, but have grave expressions painted on their faces, as they felt these astonishing fluctuations. Even with their strength, they could not underestimate fluctuations of this degree. Such attacks had been displayed by two youngsters. The experts of the older generation could not help but lament upon witnessing this scene. Who won? The disciples of the two clans stared anxiously at the destroyed plaza. Everyone could tell that the attacks of the two were exceedingly vicious and ferocious. Therefore, there would definitely be a victor in such an exchange. Elder Gu Xiao, Gu Menki tightly clenched her jade-like hands. Her eyes brimming with worry, she looked towards Gu Xiao in an attempt to see whether he could obtain any news of the result. However, Gu Xiao only wrinkled his forehead. The Yuan power within the square was too wild and chaotic. With such chaos, even someone like him would be unable to accurately sense the situation within. Gu Xiao continued to stare firmly at the square filled with an intense radiance. Moments later, his pupils suddenly contracted slightly. Bang! In that instant, an intense brilliance akin to the sun suddenly dashed towards the heavens. Moments after, the brilliance dimmed, while a cloud of dust rose up. The scenery within started to faintly appear once again. Swish! Every gaze immediately shifted over in a flash, while the cloud of dust started to slowly disperse under their attentive gazes. As the dust scattered, two somewhat thin figures started to appear. Above their heads, the gigantic green dragon claw had caught the giant jet black tower, while distortions had appeared in the surrounding space. Who won? Everyone stared at the deadlock, as their hearts seemed to rise to their throats, especially the members of the Shentu and Gu clans, whose eyes were opened the widest. Even the elders who had pretty high status, like Gu Xiao and Shentu Tao had tightly clenched their fists. The entire mountain summit had become devoid of noise. Only the sounds of the gentle wind brushing across the mountain forest remained, leading to a melodious rustling noise. Crack! 
This silence did not continue for long, as people started to hear minute cracking sounds from the air. Immediately, they turned their gazes, only to see that cracks had started to appear on the surface of the giant jet black tower. Shentaju's soul suppressing tower is about to break apart. Sharp cries of alarm suddenly rang out in a piercing manner. The faces of the Shenta clan members changed in a flash. Looks like you're going to lose. Lin Dong raised his head. At this time, his face was stained with blood, while his aura was similarly fluctuating as it heaved up and down. Obviously, he had suffered injuries in the previous clash. Shen Ju's delicate and handsome face immediately turned exceedingly ugly at this moment. He could feel the terrifying power from the dragon claw that was grabbing onto his soul suppressing tower. In your dreams. Shen Ju's eyes flickered crazily, before an ominous glint abruptly flashed within them. Biting his the tip of his tongue, Essence blood containing boundless Yuan power spurted out, shooting directly towards the black tower. Hum hum. Following this support from the essence blood, jet black light once again erupted on the surface of the black tower, while those cracks gradually started to recede. As if it's that easy to beat me. Shentaju roared deeply, while his breathing had started to become rather labored. It was evident that he had staked everything he had into this move. Since that's the case, I'll shatter your intentions. Lin Dong said as he looked at the stubbornly resisting Shentaju. As his mouth cracked open into a grin, the blood stains at the corner of his mouth made him look fairly sinister. Over the years, he had experienced countless life or death struggles. If Shentaju wanted to compete with him in viciousness, Shentaju would obviously be inferior. The spirit brand on Lin Dong's forehead started to sparkle maniacally once again. Extremely vigorous energies streamed out endlessly, before pouring into his limbs and bones. Under the boundless energies, even with his tyrannical physical body, Lin Dong was still able to feel a stabbing pain from within his body. However, there were no signs of him stopping. Instead, he viciously stared at Chen Tiju like a wolf staring down its prey. Subsequently, as his lips parted, as his eyes instantly turned ice cold. Break! Lin Dong abruptly clenched his fist, as a deep roar furiously rang out. Bang! Following his roar, green light instantly erupted on the gigantic green dragon claw, as an ancient dragon roar rumbled across the entire area. The green dragon claw ruthlessly crushed downwards, causing cracks to rapidly appear once again on the recently restored black tower. Break! This time, Lin Dong did not give Shen Tiju the slightest opportunity. The spirit brand on his forehead started to increase in brilliance once again and the green dragon claw swelled once more. Bang! Within the grip of the expanding green dragon claw, monstrous power poured out in torrents onto the black tower. In the next instant, under the countless shocked gazes, it exploded with a loud bang. Ugh! When the black tower exploded, Shentaju's face abruptly turned pale, as he spurted a mouthful of blood, and his aura instantly weakened. Let your demonic earth prison be broken too. Although he had crushed the black tower with a single claw, Lin Dong's eyes still remained as deadly as a blade's edge. With a thought, the gigantic green dragon claw swept out once again. It ruthlessly smashed against the jet black light that had enveloped the entire square. Boom! When the green dragon fist landed on its surface, the light screen instantly started to shake violently. With a final clear sound, the Azura Earthly Demonic Prison, which was created by Shentaju's full power, was forcibly shattered. As the Demonic Earth Prison was broken, Shentaju suffered another blow, sending him flying backwards. Under countless dumbstruck gazes, he slid backwards on the ground for more than a thousand feet. Whoosh! In this instant, a noise that shook the heavens rang out from around the square, as everyone looked dumbfoundedly at the spectacle before them. No one would have ever guessed that in this short moment, Shentaju, who had the advantage all along, was defeated in such a thorough fashion. In the Shenta clan direction, everyone stared at this scene in disbelief, especially the younger generation disciples. All of them had seemingly lifeless expressions on their faces. 
they were unable to believe that Chen Tuju would actually be defeated. Cough. Within the square, Shen Tuju coughed violently, as blood spurted out from his mouth. At this time, his delicate and handsome face still appeared extremely fierce and vicious. Half squatting, an unresigned roar erupted from his throat. With a clench of his fist, a black saber appeared in his hand. Swish! However, just as he was prepared to continue, a whooshing noise rang out in front of him, as a demon-like figure came sweeping towards him. In the next instant, a black tree trunk that had sharp branches appeared before his forehead like a murder weapon brimming with killing intent. That ice-cold killing intent that made no attempt to conceal itself caused Shen Tuju's body to freeze. This killing intent made him understand, that if he were to make any strange movements, the sharp tree branches would definitely smash his head into a pulp. The person before him seemed to be even more ferocious and vicious than himself. Lin Dong gazed at Shen Tuju, before deeply inhaling, as he slowly said, Sorry, I've won. Chapter 885, End A gentle wind blew along the mountain peak, blowing away the tense and hostile atmosphere. However, when everyone saw the thin figure grasping the sharp black tree trunk, as he pointed it at Shen Tuju's forehead, they could not help but to feel their hearts tighten. They could feel an extremely thick killing intent from Lin Dong's body. A killing intent that was ice cold and filled with cruelty. The victor has been decided. Gazes turned towards Shen Tuju one by one. His aura was weak, and his delicate and handsome face appeared extremely pale. This sight caused everyone to sigh inwardly. At this stage, the outcome of the match was clear. However, the result left them with a heart full of complicated feelings. At the very beginning, even with Lin Dong's breathtaking victory using the Azure method, there was still no one that had believed that Lin Dong would actually be able to defeat the famous Iron Azure of the Heaven Wind Sea region. The only people within the younger generation in the Heaven Wind Sea region who could beat him, would be the two monsters from the universe and demonic wind caves. Had a third person now appeared? Many people looked at one another with shock in their eyes. They did not know exactly where Lin Dong had sprouted from. To think that he was actually this formidable. Under the attention of countless gazes, the deadlock atmosphere in the square lasted for a moment. Meanwhile, the killing intent given off by Lin Dong did not show the slightest signs of reducing. Staring at Chen Tuju, the metallic black tree in his hand faintly flickered with a cold light. You've won. Shen Tuju stared stubbornly at Lin Dong. After a long time, the stern and unwilling gaze gradually dimmed. As he wiped away the blood stains from the corner of his mouth, an extremely hoarse voice rang out. Thanks for the win. Only upon hearing those words did Lin Dong's chilling gaze gradually turn gentle. A smile started to appear on his face once again, which made it seem as if the previous vicious and cruel face had never existed. The Gu clan has found a good helper. Shen Tuju said in a low voice. In this fight, he had also used all of his strength. However, he was still unexpectedly defeated by Lin Dong. Although he felt somewhat unresigned, he had no choice but to admit that the opponent in front of him, was not someone whom those geniuses from the four great clans could compare to. Lin Dong's strength, personality, decisiveness and viciousness were superior to his own. Brother Shenta's strength is tyrannical. I merely relied on certain tricks. Lin Dong said with a smile. A victory is a victory. Any method you use is also part of your strength. Shen Tuju replied, while shooting a deep look at Lin Dong. Waving his hand, he proceeded to turn around and walk off without saying another word. Since you've won, the quotas of the Chaotic Tower will belong to the Gu clan. However, I'll be looking for you in the future. As he watched Chen Tuju's departing figure, Lin Dong slowly unclenched his fists. Slowly raising his head, he looked towards the giant ancient tower at the corner of the square, while pursing his lips. After racking his brains and putting in his all, he had finally obtained what he wanted. Hopefully, the chaotic tower would truly allow the mysterious stone talisman to recover. We've won. When Chen Tuju turned around and walked off, 
everyone now completely understood the outcome of the match. At this instant, emotional roars and cheers erupted from the Gu clan side. Formidable, he actually defeated Shentaju, Gu Yuntian muttered, as he looked at the thin figure within the plaza with some admiration. He had crossed hands with Shentaju before, and naturally knew how fierce and vicious the latter was. However, Shentaju seemed to have truly met a tough foe today. While Gu Xiao stroked his beard, the gaze he sent towards Lin Dong was filled with unspeakable admiration and regret. If such a talent could be recruited into the Gu clan, he would definitely become an important character within the Gu clan in future. Looks like Lin Dong's name will resound across the Heaven Wind Sea region in the future. Gu Menki said with a beautiful smile. Upon hearing this, the surrounding crowd nodded their heads. News of today's fight would definitely be very quickly spread in the Heaven Wind Sea region. At that time, Lin Dong's name would not be unknown like it had been before. They seemed to have witnessed the rise of a new star, although Lin Dong himself might not care much about it. This fellow. While the Gu clan were cheering, in the Wei clan direction, the still somewhat pale faces of Wei Zhen and Chen Luo twitched a little. He actually defeated Chen Tiju, Wei Zhen muttered, as he clenched his fists tightly. A sliver of dread flashed past his eyes as he stared at Lin Dong. The previous fight made him understand, the latter had simply not used his full power against them. Brother Chen Luo, this brat will not be easy to deal with. Wei Zhen said in a low voice towards Chen Luo, whose gaze had turned gloomy. A dark look flashed within Chen Luo's eyes, before he coldly chuckled and replied, It will be hard for us, however, this way, he will only be even more miserable. Oh! Wei Zhen said while raising his brow. Since he has killed my junior brother, given my master's character, he will not take this lying down. Later, I'll spread this news around. At that time, as long as my master rushes to here, it'll be hard for this brat to escape. Chen Luo replied with a cold smile. He he, if Elder Nefarious Bone is willing to personally take action, this brat will indeed be miserable. Upon hearing this, Wei Zhen immediately grinned, as joy appeared within his eyes. He was originally filled with resentment towards Lin Dong, and the latter's performance only made it more intense. If the latter was finished off, it would dispel the resentment in his heart. Ha, he was asking for it. Although my junior brother is slightly stupid, he's not someone that can be killed by the likes of Lin Dong. Although Lin Dong has some connections with the Gu clan, my master is the sinecure of the demonic wind cave. Hence, the Gu clan will not dare to say anything. Chen Luo said. He he, you're right brother Chen Luo. This Lin Dong was previously an unknown figure. Thinking about it, he must have encountered some miracles that greatly increased his strength. He has quite a few formidable martial arts. If those were to land in Brother Chen Luo's hands, you might even be able to defeat Chen Tiju. Wei Zhen said. At this point, a greedy look appeared at the corner of Chen Luo's mouth. He was extremely interested in the martial art that Lin Dong had used the day before to absorb the power of the land. If he could obtain it, it would result in a great increase in his strength. While Wei Zhen was scheming with Chen Luo against Lin Dong, the Shenta clan's Shenta Tao could only sigh as he watched Chen Tiju walk back with an emotionless face. He did not blame or reprimand, and just patted the latter's shoulders. Subsequently, he raised his head, and looked towards the Gu clan. As he cupped his hands together, the Shenta clan has lost this match. The three quotas for the chaotic tower will be given to the Gu clan this year. When Shenta Tao's words rang out, the faces of quite a few Shenta clan disciples dimmed. In the previous fight, both parties had fought fairly and honorably. Since Shenta Ju had lost, they too had nothing to say. The black-clothed Shenta Rong was currently biting her red lips. She looked at the somewhat dull expression on Chen Tiju, and could not help but feel somewhat complicated. This was the first time she had seen the defeated appearance of this heaven-gifted genius of the Chen Tiju clan. In addition, the person who defeated him, was neither of the two people at the pinnacle of the younger generation in the Heaven Wind Sea region, but a previously unknown youth. 
who could have anticipated this result before the fight. Upon hearing Shen Tao's words, Gu Xiao hurriedly cupped his hands, and returned the greeting with a smile, Many thanks. Shen Tao shot a look at Lin Dong, with his gaze appearing slightly stern. Under this stern glare, the latter did not move at all. He met Shen Tao's gaze with his own rather serene gaze. Your thanks should go to that little brother. This time, your clan has found a pretty good external helper. After this intersection of gazes continued for a short while, Shen Tao was the first one to retract his gaze. The sternness in his gaze gradually dissipated before he faintly nodded his head and spoke out. A little bit of praise appeared in his tone, as the youth in front of him was indeed extraordinary. There was no need for Shen Tuju to feel sullen after losing to someone like Lin Dong. However, he was curious, if this youth were to meet with the two people at the apex of the younger generation in the Heaven Wind Sea region, would he be able to still maintain this blade-like sharpness and calm? Such a meeting would indeed be rather interesting. The fight to defend the tower had concluded, and this martial gathering had reached its end. The vast crowd on the mountain summit, as well as the noise, started to gradually dissipate. After today, Marshall Gathering Island would still be relatively lively, and news of the shocking fight today would likely spread at an astonishing pace. However, Lin Dong did not give any extra attention to this matter. Since the result was determined, he returned to the Gu clan side under the respected and revered gazes from the surroundings. Getting straight to the point, he asked, when will I be able to enter the chaotic tower? If you so desire, you can enter as soon as tomorrow. Gu Xiao was evidently in an extremely good mood, as he answered with a laugh. Lin Dong nodded slightly, as the weight in his heart was finally lifted. As he rubbed his chest, he could feel that the mysterious stone talisman within his body seemed to be vibrating in excitement. I hope that you can recover in there. Feeling the vibrations from within his body, a smile appeared from the corners of Lin Dong's mouth. He mumbled to himself, as he lifted his head to look at the ancient chaotic tower.